Okay, welcome back, everybody, to the Rain App Training. Let's get into three-way call. Let's tap on it. So let's give some background about three-way call. You know, when you go to see a prospect, okay, in person, or you pick up the phone and you follow up, okay, when you're there in person or following up, it doesn't matter. You're, you're talking about your product. You're, you're asking them to try a sample, okay? Inevitably, questions come up, okay? They give you an indication to proceed further past the product stage and maybe to the business opportunities phase, okay? Now, if they're interested in the product and they don't ask a lot of questions, just get them on as a preferred customer. Let them experience a month of supply of this amazing product. The sample's there, and that's great, but the sample is really just there to do what? It's to open the door. It's a door opener. They're buying it, okay, serious people using the samples, that's great. But you know what? If they say, hey, you know, you know, maybe I don't want to buy that sample right now. Well, you do have a better deal. You have a month's supply at a preferred price that is amazing, and you want to ask them to try that, okay? So that's what I want to make sure you recommend is that you make sure you're always asking people to try your product for 30 days. I've had over 500 customers in my different businesses in this industry, and it was for one reason only. I got really good at doing one thing, asking people to try my product for 30 days at no risk, at a preferred price, and that I would personally follow up with them using the follow-up system I had then. I wish I had the one now we just showed you. Okay, in 15, 16 days, I put a 16-day call back. I always make sure I follow up, make sure they're happy, and if they are, I try to get them on another product. If they're not happy, I do what I should. I make sure they don't see it again, or I answer their questions to keep them on the product. But they're always going to ask questions. They always do. They're going to ask questions like, hey, are you making any money at this? Hey, is this where you talk to all your other friends? Who have you gotten on as customers? Hey, this, hey, that. There's always a question. I recommend before a three-way call, I always recommend this one question back. Is that something you'd like more information about? Always ask that because that gets the tire kickers out of the way and confirms whether or not they're an interested party to put on with my upline team member, okay? Because if they're not, then they're just tire kicking. You don't want to bother with the three-way process. But if they say, yeah, I'd like to hear a little more about that or, yeah, what do you have or whatever, what I always rolled into, which helped me build my biggest big and why three-way call here is because – I love putting people on the phone with my business partners and letting them, you know, talk to my prospect and ask them to see the presentation videos and make a decision on whether they want to come into business. Why? Because I might not have that much credibility with them. But if I properly edify my upline, then you know what? It's always magical. So let's talk about adding a helper. The way you add an upline helper to the system to do a three-way call is you tap on add new helper. And you have to have their ID number, okay, their, their rep ID number, and you want to go ahead and get that partner ID number and put it in. When you put it in, they also have to be on the app. Make sure your upline is on this app. They have to go register just like you. Make sure they're on the app. If they're not on the app, we're not going to find them with their ID number, okay? So I'm going to hit add. The system will go look for them. Okay, that's not it. Sorry about that. That's a wrong number. That's just what will happen. Sorry, I had to run. Boom. That's going to look. That's my ID number. It's going to say send message John Presky. Yes. This is what's going to happen. It's going to send it. Okay. It's going to send a message to your upline saying, hey, I need some help with future three-way calls. Can you help me out? And it's going to take about five, six, seven, eight seconds for it to go out. There it is. View. This is what your upline will see from you to them. John Presky will help with future three-way calls in the future. Please kick a button whether or not you're willing to be a three-way KL helper for future in the future. Yeah, of course they are. I hope they are. They're your upline. And you say yes. When they say yes back to you, you're going to get a pushback that they said yes. Watch it come in. Okay. One potato. There we go. And here it is. Boom. John Price accepted your help for future three calls. When you see that help and they've accepted your initial ad helper request, you close it. Go out to your home button. To reset, come back into three-way call, and that person is now ready to go, okay? Now, let me show you how to add a helper for somebody else. Let me see if Ryan Fry is in there. I'm going to add Ryan. Because he's on this simple system as a corporate rep. Yes. Boom. It's going to send it off to him, and Ryan is now in holding. If he sees it, you know, he's probably going to go ahead and, and help me out. Okay, 
He may not see it because he's over in Australia right now, right? So there you go. So that's how it works. So now I've got my prospect on the hook, right? Prospect's interested in more information. I've edified my upline, okay? I've said great things about them. They have all the information that I just said I could get to you. They, they're doing really well. They're well documented in the business. They love helping people and helping me. Hold on a second. I really want you to meet and talk to this person. So then all you do for your upline is you tap the request call button. Now you're going to see, because it's coming to me, what your upline is going to see. Your upline is going to be offered the choice of four options with you in getting back with you in a three-way call. And the reason this is important is you want to poke your upline so they know what's coming. You, I know in the past I was concerned my upline didn't know. This system's designed to poke your upline when the time comes after you've already set them up as a helper. Okay, we've set them up as a helper. Now when the time comes, I can poke them because I want them to be on their game. I want them to be ready. So here's their options. Yes right now. No. 15 or 30. Let me just show you what yes and 15 looks like. So you tap. This is what your upline would see. Or when you become an upline, that's what you're going to see, right? Look how fast that is. I'm available in 15 minutes. You're going to get a push as well, but it also shows it to you right here. It's very easy. So let me view it. Okay. We're informing you, John Price, receive your three. I'll help you help him forward. But here's what's cool. Your upline's phone number is right there for you. Right there. I recommend you highly put your upline in, get them set up for a future zero call, but go ahead and practice one time. Just practice with them and then hit the phone and call them. Go, hey, you ready for me to get on line with my prospect? And they go, yeah. Okay, just wanted to practice one time. Okay, whatever you want to do, but practice this system because I can tell you this. I've been in this industry a long time. You know why I had 500 customers, why I had over 100 business reps in my businesses with me? is because I brought in the vast, vast majority of them using the three-way call and having some fun, let my upline do a lot of the work, but better yet, showing my prospect that this is a team approach and there's help always there. And you've got to get great as an upline as well, okay? So I just want you to know that's how it works. Look at this view. Look at that. Ryan has accepted my Hupa three-way call, so let me check this out, okay? I'm going to clear me. I'm going to go back out, okay? I'm going to come back in. Rye's ready. Let me see if I can request call with Rye. Okay, let's see if we can get it because I may get it from Rye, you know, because he knows I can't can't WhatsApp him on this right now because we can't really do it. We may add that functionality down the road for three-way call WhatsApp, and, but not just yet. <clears throat> so we'll see how that goes. But I wanted you to see how easy it is to poke your upline with a call. So what are the steps? First thing you got to do is add new helper. How do you, look at that. Message from Rye, happy to help right now. Is this great? That was from me to Australia and back in about maybe 20 seconds. That's what the power of your Rain Connect app can do for you. Let me view it. Yep, there he is. There's his phone number. If he's in town, I'd call him. That's how cool this is. So I just want you to know that you need to add your upline helpers. You can add as many as you want, and you can request call with as many people all at the same time because whoever says yes first, they win. So I want you to get in again, get the ID numbers of your upline, make sure they're on the app first, okay? This is an app-to-app -app communication sequence, okay? <clears throat> and make sure you add them in first and make sure they're ready. Don't wait and add them in when, when the time comes with your prospect. When you download the app, I take this training, get your top three people in there so you always have somebody that can help you with the three-way calls, okay? So that's the three-way call feature, how easy it is to use and how fast it can be. And make sure you use it because I promise you from one rep to another, I can promise you this is one of the most magical things in the world is to work it with your great upline. And the upline's ready to invite them to see the next step. Okay? So thank you. And that's it for the three-way call. And we're finishing up on that right now.